going guys, this is Raymond Warner and I'm here today to show you my new AOS D4 deck by Envy Scooters. My deck comes 4.75 wide by 20.2 inches long and it has a 83 degree head tube angle. And the entire scooter is a burnt pipe color. So for all you guys that kind of like that oil slick kind of look, it's just like that, just a little bit darker, a little more blue. The AOSC4 deck also comes with the new nylon brake and the nylon brake comes with a full length heat treated steel base that keeps its strength in there but the nylon actually adds a lot of grip and dampers the sound that you would get from a normal brake and also keeps it pretty lightweight as well. The AOSC4 comes with a 5mm brake bolt as opposed to what was the 3mm brake bolt before on the AOSV3s. Another new feature of the AOSV4 is the nylon front plate which helps a lot with your nose blunt size or any kind of lip trick that you decide to use your, the front of your deck with. Um, the coolest part about that is that you can actually remove this plate and get a different color, or if you want, you can also put it in any of the 2016 Envy products. I know a lot of riders really worry a lot about the bottom of your decks when it comes to the rails and all that kind of stuff. Well, Envy has made the rails further apart and also thicker so that you can get a better lock-in on any kind of feeble or if you're doing a back lip on a rail whatever the case may be you don't have to worry about slipping out as much as you would before not to mention the deck also has the five degrees of concave so it's a little bit more comfy on your feet when you are going on a rail or a ledge or even if you park guys like me are doing your grinds on quarter pipes for me, when it comes to spinning your headset around, you need to have a lot of strength up in here just because I use mine so much and I land kind of hard sometimes. So what Envy has done is they made the integrated headset cups a little bit thicker so you won't ovalize the inside of your head tube so your head tube won't be moving around and your front end ain't getting all janky and whatnot. If you look on the inside, it actually tapers down back to where, from the headset cups, back to the middle of it and that's just basically a weight saving method to keep the balance of the deck correct. The rear wheel spaces are a little bit different than you guys have seen from Emmy's previous decks. They are now inserted from the inside of the deck and they actually merge into the extrusion of the deck in the back. The reason for that is that when you're putting your wheel on, you guys don't have to hold on to the spacers anymore like when you're putting your wheel in, you just put your spacers into the sides, put your wheel right through, and you can slide your axle in. Not to mention the axle is a new flush look and it's made of high tensile steel so you won't have to worry about snapping it. The back end of the deck has a lot different shape than the AOS V3 did. It is a lot wider and it actually goes further towards the back before it actually cuts in. That way, I mean, I know there's a lot of ski riders out there and if you guys do ride that way, I mean, it'll really help you out more than it will me. But it also helps out for a lot of the guys that like to do, like I said, ledge stuff or quarter pipe tricks or grinds and stuff like that. Because it, it gives you more surface area to actually lock into the coping or if you have a sharp edge on an on a angle iron or whatever, you don't have to worry about slipping off. Now I know a lot of you guys like to look at the graphics on the bottom of scooter decks and mine has a lot of sentimental value to it because of this girl right here. This is Bertha. This is Bertha. And I know a lot of you guys know of Bertha as being my girl, and she is, she's my project, so I had to put her on the bottom of my deck. There's all kinds of pinstriping going along to make sure that the, there's plenty of action going on. And it's got my name, Ray Warner, and the old judge lettering, uh, GTLI 22, a couple of sayings of mine. And of course, I had to put my prayer in there on the top. But yeah, that's my girl. I had to show some love for Bertha. Now you gotta show some love for Bertha. <laughs> As for the new head tube, I know it's a lot different than you guys have seen on a lot of decks. It's actually what we call 3D forged. 3D forged is not a super complicated process. Basically, all it is is there's a high quality aluminum that is squeezed under great pressure to make basically this one piece. When aluminum is squeezed under that much pressure, you can change the structure and shape and all kinds of different aspects of what you are trying to make 
which in turn makes it a lot stronger and keeps it light at the same time. So you guys I'm sure have noticed the curve in the down tube. This is not only for looks. The curve of the down tube actually meets at the base of the deck at a lower angle, which means that we can put more metal at the front of the head tube, which makes it a lot stronger. You all see the side cutouts and all that kind of stuff as well as the front, which the front cutout is now 10% bigger than the last one. We also still have the Envy logo branding on the back side of the head tube. And this one is actually reduced by 50%, so you, nobody has to worry about any issues on the front of the head tube anymore. All right guys, and that is my signature AOSV4 deck by Envy Scooters. All of the AOSV4s drop December 1st, so have them on your Christmas list, all that stuff. But thank you guys very much again. We put a lot of work into this, and I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have. Thanks.